So all my website really has to contend with is this area in the middle right here. That area does not make up 1024. 1024, as I said, is the top of your computer screen down at the bottom of your computer screen, or at least what my computer screen happens to be set to here. And the vast majority of people are, as we mentioned, following at least this screen or a higher screen resolution. So, in order to make your website work really well, if I was to create a layout of 1024 by 768, then we would see that if my browser was set to full screen, there would still be a lot of real estate that's taken up by the browser itself, probably giving me a horizontal scroll bar, which I don't really want. Now, a vertical scroll bar is not really the end of the world. A lot of people have come to expect that, but I want to address that in just a second. If you want to play it safe, the best way to work within this environment is to choose a width and a height of 955 by 600. Now, let's also address that issue. There's going to be some math that we're going to have to do. Sorry if you don't like math, but you do have to um, spend some time preparing, especially in a fixed pixel-based design, a little bit of... Um, how your layout is going to work inside the browser so there's a little math involved if you want to have the easiest way of working with that we can round off our 955 to a nice even 900 that'll be easy for us to sort of divide into different sections and work out mathematically the height of 600 on the other hand is something that also contends with all of that extra real estate that's taken up by the browser as we mentioned earlier so what does this mean for us well I mentioned that height of 600 is also important for a number of different reasons number one as I mentioned vertical scroll bars are are not really unusual in the web world and everybody comes to expect them to a certain degree however one important thing about this height of 600 is in the design field, we often refer to these areas as above the fold or below the fold. Well, in print, it's easy to think about this. Think about like a newspaper and how a newspaper is folded in half usually when you pick it up. Well, everything above the fold or at the top of the newspaper is generally seen as the most important information. It's also the most highly visible information. That's where uh, you'll have to pay the most for advertising and there's a reason behind that because it's got the most visibility. Same thing can be applied to this the principle on a web-based environment. Everything above a height of 600 is referred to as above the fold. Because of this we can recognize that the vast majority of people are going going to be looking at that area more so than anything below the fold. Now that doesn't mean any person is not going to look below the fold. Of course, the information's there. It's always going to be there. However, um, the most important elements of your website should always be above the height of 600, or rather above the fold. It's really important to sort of address this because it's the highest area of visibility. Most people are going to look at that area before moving on to another website. Um, not everybody's necessarily going to read everything below that area. Most will, but um, the attention span of most people will sort of peter off with anything below the height of 600. So address that issue as well, and um, that's something that's important here too. So not only is that 600 sort of addressing the extra real estate that's inside of the browser that we can't use for our design, but it also uh, addresses some important information in terms of visibility from your audience. Also, remember something else, SEO, Search Engine Optimization, tells us that search engine spiders as they crawl the web and as they crawl down different websites um, will generally um, only have a finite amount of information that they can ingest and usually what is happening is they ingest the information that is above the fold. Now that's not to say that they won't uh, grab anything that's below the height of 600, it's possible, but the higher your height value is, um, the less information that search engine spiders will actually attract. So if you have something that's ridiculously high and a lot of scrolling on your website, that might actually affect your SEO adversely. So it's something that you also should be aware of, not only for the attention span of your audience, but also for search engine optimization. So 
what I've done here is in Photoshop chosen a height and width of 900 by 600 and that's what we're going to be starting with. At this point now we're also going to have to address a couple of other things. In other words, where we're going to set up our rulers and guides and also a little bit of information about color schemes and how we can work with color not only inside of Photoshop but in any application that you want to be working with um, even if it's just straightforward HTML so we'll discuss a little bit more about color in just a second